So where are we today, Lisa? We are in Stockholm. We're doing a bus tour of Stockholm. And uh, this is, uh, so it should be interesting. We're here for two days. I'm not sure we're going to be here long enough to see everything we want to see in Stockholm, but uh, I think we're going to see some of the tourist highlights. And uh, so it should be, uh, it should be interesting two days. Yeah. All right. Off we go. Well, here is an overlook of Stockholm. One of the numerous, numerous islands. I get fortunate that 14 islands make up the uh, inner city of Stockholm. And uh, it is at, um, goes out to the Baltic Sea, I think here to the right. And then there's a large lake that uh, off to the left, it used to be part of the Baltic Sea. But in the time of the uh, glaciers, Somehow the land continues to rise there, and there's a, a, a height differential. So now you have a lake and the Baltic Sea here. I think over here is the uh, is the, uh, the place that used to be the fort that, that guarded that entrance, and uh, now that burned down, and now it is the royal palace over here. So I think we're going to go there later on today. And I think here is the Fotografiska Museum. I don't know if we'll have time for that in our two day short two days here, but. Uh, yeah, it's uh, supposedly an interesting place to go. Some more pictures of the old town here in Stockholm. This uh, used to be a British cargo ship. Now it is turned into a youth hostel. And uh, the harbor, looking across to the old town. And that's the parliament over there. And more of just the beauty here of this uh, city. So you see them today, it's this nice looking because of the parliament opening. The Royal House. This concludes the changing of the guard ceremony. The next changing of the guard will take place tomorrow at 12.50. Thank you. because there was just well, mud this is the leaning right there. house of Stockholm. So therefore, they Check start to fill them out, these areas between the jetties, put bu big wooden poles into them, built the houses on top, but those wooden poles underneath the houses gets pressed up. When the wood, wood comes in contact with the oxygen, the wood rots, and we get leaning houses. This is the parliament. And the arches down into the, the pedestrian street. There's a great walking block here in the old city. Lots of restaurants, lots of interesting shops. Going up the sides, going back through here. Super, super nice. Smells great here. Yeah. It's, a, it's an art form fixing the road here. Skilled craftsman. Finding just the right rock. Where is it going? Look at that. It's incredible. Individual piece by piece. Not a fit. It's going through the old town here in Stockholm. Pretty interesting, little fountain coming out of this building. Don't normally see that. It's the smallest sculpture in Stockholm. If you touch his head, you get good luck. Yeah. So it's the main square of Stockholm back in the day. And uh, this is the, uh, uh, the Swedish Academy. And uh, this is uh, now the Nobel Museum here right off the square. And you see it's a uh, cute little square. A little early in the morning for things to be open yet, but uh, be a nice place to have uh, have some lunch. 
and you see the red building over here and that building was built in the 1600s that's right 1600s 17th century that building dates from uh, this is interesting it's a wooden horse museum it's free entrance too by the way wow ah, i want to go in there Let's go in. This is a collection of horses. If, if that's uh, yeah, exactly, I think everyone should. Oh, give me a collection of chickens too. Wooden chickens. What are they doing here on the horse museum? There's a wooden chicken in the front window too. <laughs> Oh, that's it on these horses. Here we go. Do, do you film? Yeah, I'm not allowed to film. Oh, okay. All right, that's the end of the filming here in the horse museum. There's no filming in the wooden horse museum because uh, those horses in there are uh, super top secret, uh, <laughs> special compartmentalized information in there. So uh, unfortunately, you get no video of the, uh, the wooden horse museum. And, uh, oh well. I wouldn't recommend coming here because they don't like filmers. <laughs> Going to the city hall and uh, check out the uh, the carving here on the entranceway. That's pretty cool. We're here on the other side too. Here's the inside of the city hall. Massive space. The only thing it's missing is some mural on the top. And fountain in the middle. Huh? Missing a fountain in the middle. And a fountain in the middle too, you're right. There's nothing here. Well, this is where the Nobel banquet is held each year. 1,300 people, they jam into this place. Now we're walking across the King's Garden here towards the Queen Street, Lisa tells me. I wasn't paying attention. So this is the, uh, the main pedestrian street here in Stockholm. We're just going to walk on down. We're actually looking for a drink. Get off our feet for a little bit. Get a little more energy before we continue on, I don't know, killing some time before dinner. <laughs> Experiencing Stockholm. Experiencing Stockholm. And here's our hotel here in Stockholm. Quality Hotel Globe because it's right next to the globe. It is it's a quality, I think it has the quality in branding there. It does, but it seems to be a higher... Uh, higher end, yeah. Higher end, for sure. So. Well, I'll take a little video of the uh, inside of the lobby, because... Uh, <laughs> walk all over me. Okay, so here's the lobby. Hey, everybody's getting ready to go at 2 o'clock. Our hotel in Stockholm is right next side, next to this, uh, this arena. And it's a uh, place that's called the Globen. Uh, this area here, because it sort of looks like a globe, but uh, it's really, I guess it's named. They sold the name to the Tele2 following at the arena here. But uh, very interesting. Uh, Architecture from the outside. Haven't seen the inside of it. So. Looks, uh, looks interesting. It's a, it's a very interesting place to uh, to spend a couple nights. Well, we've got a, another superb breakfast here at the uh, quality uh, hotel here in Stockholm. It's just uh, it's fantastic. Everything you want. 
But the best part about this breakfast is the uh, the view. Shockingly, it comes out. Keep going. Eh? Look at that. Comes out and looks over the arena. So I'll show you our seat, but uh, here's, here's the arena. Nothing's happening there at 7 o'clock in the morning. But sort of in the, uh, the, 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 the sky boxy area here. And uh, here's our seats. And it uh, just looks out here. It's, it's one of the, uh, the best breakfast views uh, we've ever had. So it's. Uh, Again, just people doing some cleanup work here, but it's a really, uh, really unique. Was the breakfast go? So the Grand Hotel is the Grand Hotel, and up close, the Grand Hotel. Uh, that's uh, quite interesting. And across the way, I think is another museum. <clears throat> Don't know what it is. A lot more to explore in this city than we're going to have a chance to explore. From the bridge, again, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful here. Comes Lisa, and over to the Royal Palace, the church. found a spot here for our lock. I need to take a look at your mm. There it is. Love forever. <laughs> Here's the Royal Palace and it's a beautiful day here in Stockholm. It's, I don't know, it's the low 50s. It's not raining. Partly to mostly cloudy. But uh, here we are in the the inner harbor to try to take a canal tour. Yep, here in Stockholm. Yep. Don't know if we'll be successful. Don't really know what time it goes. There's one going out right now. That's a could be one of the uh, the ho hos. Oh yeah. But yeah. I don't know. Hello. Hello. Hi. We are going to go on our boat tour. Missed the canal tour. Only runs at uh, three and four o'clock. But we are taking the. Uh, the hop on, stay on boat tour. This is the bridge our lock is on. You can see it up there. Another Tivoli. This one's been around since 1883. Only open in the summer, though. So not currently open. And over here is, I think, the same cruise ship that we saw a few days ago in the Norwegian fjord. It made its way over to Stockholm. This makes sense. Yeah, look at those cliffs over there. Beautiful, stunningly beautiful. 
Cause we're here. It's a really interesting hotel here. Here's the Museum of uh, Phot Photography. Over here is the gondola restaurant, the elevator up there, so that uh, it'd be super, super nice place to eat up there. Well, looks like we're coming into the end of our tour. It's about an hour, actually, is uh, half on, half off, so we could have gotten off in any of the stops. But uh, about an hour and cost us under uh, under twenty five dollars. We had twenty four. We have twenty four hours to do this, so you know we could uh, hop on, hop off, and visit some of the sites here. But we don't have time for that today. But uh, super uh, super fun. Um, they had uh, English language narration during the trip, which was good, and. Uh, you know, it was, uh, it was very nice, so they certainly recommend it to uh, come to Stockholm. Mm -hmm.